Okay, Chairman, uh, first and foremost, um, obviously it wasn't a good thing for you guys to get relegated. Um, in this period between now um, and the end of last season, what what were you doing? Did you sit and, and sulk a bit or did you, you know, get into work straight away and say, am I going to build a squad now again? Yeah, uh, we didn't want to swallow this bitter pill in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Immediately after we got the results, we knew we had a heap of work to do. Mm -hmm. We started to set the young talents, more specifically below 23 years yeah. age. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and knowing that we have to beef up our DDC, Mm -hmm. so that we have got better combination. We started immediately around all those flu tournaments. Mm -hmm. you, you know them around Alexander, Timbisa and Limpopo. Mm -hmm. We got some young players. And then when somewhere mid-June, towards the end, then we had to go and search talent in the experience in FD players. Mm -hmm. We had to go deeper as well. Mm -hmm. And then by when the July start, we had to call our old players together with those two groups mm. of the, the underage and, 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 and the experienced NFT players, then combined with ours, then we started to start to select from the, it was a process. Mm. That's why we had to get some experienced people to help in here and there. And it was a busy month. People went for Kosafa, some they went for trainings for our other licenses, mm. but we had to be advanced and we did that. But we never sat back and say we are relegated and then we'll start with any other team which is in a normal league. We had to be upfront, then, but so far I think we've completed and we are happy. Yeah. We've done what we could do up to our capacity. If you have to be honest, how much influence did um, Sammy and Sly have on this team? Obviously you've got a new coach, a new CEO, but how much influence did they have on putting together this team that you've presented to us today? Well, if, if you go to an expert, Definitely would have an, uh, an, an influence. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to write off yeah. the fact that we didn't have them as head coaches yes, and what coaches to say they didn't play. Mm -hmm. The reason why I asked them to be with us during the trials is we expected the experience and, and, and everything to do with football to be there. They had a, a stake to play on. Mm -hmm. And then Pizzo Tlatla, how did this come about? Why him? Uh, after relegation, you sit down, go back to your drawing board, you start with what type of players you're going to get mm. because you are losing those icon players. Mm. And then you come to technical team. What type of technical teams you want? Our priority was very clear. <laughs> we want mm. to hire a coach who once promoted or twice promoted yeah. a club. Otherwise, then I don't have that experience as a chairman I don't have, and I've never been at the NFB. So we, we, I, I had to go through screening of about eight coaches yeah yeah until we, we get the man we find them to be most um, more promising mm. person and all this didn't start today and then obviously uh, the appointment of mr nisi i think it was probably one of your most important uh, moves the season because last year you can say you paid your school fees in terms of administration mm -hmm. so how important is this man gonna be for you guys Experience is the best teacher, mm. uh, and, and, and also knowledge and interest and, 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 and eager to do things. As yeah. we interviewed a number of people which we thought they can be on this hot seat, mm. and, and also so that they, we wanted people which we can also learn from them, yeah. people who can guide the team properly, and, and, and despite all odds, they must be able to say, we were here, then you can go there, their history must talk. So, mm. It, 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 it was a very difficult thing to take, mm. but now we have to, to reach that. So this obviously suggests that you guys are still in it for the long term. You're not dated by the fact that there's a, a major setback of being in the NFD now. Yeah, I, I think you remember, don't, don't take relegation or, or, or if it's a setback or whatever. Mm. Uh, football has got the result. You win, you lose, or you draw. If, if, if you have lost, must you kill all your players or feed the whole family? No. You go back, you restructure, you re-strategize mm. and, and, and move forward. Be ready to fight and go back to where you belong, like others did. Yeah. We are not the first thing. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, another factor to that is, like, despite your relegation, you guys have it had a silver lining. I mean, selling Otladisa, Ranga Chivaviro, um, Lesi Banku, all these guys, you, you made decent money. And that was like, how can you say, the fruits 
of, of that season. How much did that influx of transfer fees help you to prepare for, for the season? Yeah, it's somehow very helpful. It's not much, as you know. And, and the other thing, remember that those were the top flight players. Mm -hmm. And they, we, they worked very hard through CAF in all Africa, known throughout the whole country. It's players we also wrote off when yeah. you signed him. We were like, hey. Look, just like. And, and, and I couldn't be selfish mm. to force to keep them. Some mm. contracts were over, like the mm. uh, and Gemma. Mm. Contract was over, you can't do much. Some they had one year contract, mm. and, and some they had contract, but you have to be a parent enough to say, let me release them, let me promote football out of all they carry. Yeah. And, 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 and then this helped us also to make sure that we look for a better home, mm. and we strategize properly. We hired uh, good uh, or, or quality uh, participants mm. so that we can be able to compete back to mm. them. So can you just good. clarify or clear the air on the Chiva Vida situation because it was all over the media for months. Mm -hmm. what, what really happened there from the end of the season to you know, finally moving to Chiefs? Well, Chiva Vida was our player because we had the one year contract mm -hmm. renewable mm -hmm. at the so. Mm. And, and, and then when, when he had to leave, he had to come and ask from the mother club. Despite any other marketing or, or advertising himself outside, he was our player. So that's why now the, the, the people who have to buy him, they had to come straight to us. And chiefs. Then, so that's so. chiefs. Mm. And we did all paperwork and everything was fine. Anything beyond that, I don't want to talk on behalf of anybody or anybody mistake or advantage. Uh, it's something which I didn't know at all as mm. a club. So, but the transfer went through. He's mm. playing with Chiefs now. We are glad for him. And the final one: Why are you guys um, setting up base in um, Free State this season? What 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 is the the attraction? Yeah, the main thing is as, 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 a, as a club. I mean, football has been there for donkey years. We want to take football to, to the people. We started in Limpopo, we took it to them, went to North West, we took it to them. We want to take football to the people. And then there are the people also who play a role in supporting us back. Okay. And even the leadership in the province also supporting back. Mm. So that's why we say, okay, fine, the collaborators and the people which they accept you well, mm. you better stay with them. For that, we're not to say we have dumped everybody who has been supporting us for the past three years. Yeah, no, yeah. we are still together. Yeah, we keep them. Yeah. Then, for the new friendship, let's grow it up to its limit as well. They obviously, see potential there. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you very Thank much, Chairman. All right.